what's going on guys live from outside of taberna costera these guys live up to the hype here with me right now carlos dennis jake sticker thank you so much hey, thanks. thanks for having us of course guys welcome to ocular shop carlos welcome back you you were the first one the first interview back back in the day which was a year ago yeah uh, it's been a whole year how do you feel now different things different projects different projections yeah um that interview yeah first one we did this is back in Sand Dollar, right? That was that was a, it was really um, that was the first interview I I think I did with the uh, um, and yeah it was it was really fun. Uh, now it's yeah I got new projects and everything happening. Um, things are really looking up right now. You know I'm really happy where I'm at right now. Dennis, I'm trying to get to talk to you on camera for a long time. I've seen I've seen you grow. I've seen you do a lot of great things. Here we are. You released an EP. How do you feel about it? How do you feel about your performance tonight? Um, I feel like we did pretty good. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, the EP being out now, it's just like cool, <laughs> just unreal. It's just like, wow, we actually did it because we've been trying for years. Well, that sounds bad, but like just um, just different versions, different versions of Sticker. But uh, this is the official version of Sticker. So, yeah. Question for Jake. With, uh, shocking things, shocking revelations. We got your EP before we got GTA 6. How do you feel about that? <laughs> that is a very interesting topic. When is it coming out? We've gotten different uh, leaks recently, I've seen. That's a great question. The EP, we'll, we will see if the the uh, if the first album is out in time to beat it. We're, we're in a race right now. With that, with that said, which one of your tracks would you put on the soundtrack to GTA 6? Off of this first album, probably like two can't decide, or I mean not two can't decide. My bad. Uh, no, not yeah, two can't decide probably. Yeah, I'd say I'd say so because you, you're just like driving down the highway, and you're blasting it. Yeah, I could see myself. And you, my brother does the role play GTA Five, <laughs> so was, but. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Watch it here on the radio. I guess at this point we're getting GTA 7 before we get GTA 6, but that's a <laughs> topic for another story. Dennis, hey. talk us through how, uh, well, the process of getting this together, making this come to fruition. Like the show? The EP, the getting EP. to, how did that all come about? Um, Me, Jake, and Carlos, you know, we just like, talk to any b good band we could and it, it was just like fate you know we talked to spring breeding and um we yeah, played to, yeah we played a show with them at this house and um it was it was awesome and then we just uh, you know i was just like oh i got to talk to them we, we i invited them to denny's with us yeah. so then we ate denny's and just we just set up a date to record and then it just happened and, and then yeah and then we just practiced and practiced and then we recorded and um we, most of it was just like trying to mix it right and then you know send it to the right person to master yeah. so it just took a long time but um, and a lot of planning which I'm not used to as I suck at planning <laughs> yeah but um just, we yeah my wife just winging it <laughs> yeah is not don't follow that example <laughs> but yeah anyways without a plan well I understand you're also part of the pigeon hat collective does that has that at all helped you oh, yeah. be more structured be more organized um more structured and organized i mean maybe a little bit like mostly they've just been there to support me like they've been there through every little almost uh, they've been there for a lot like mental breakdowns and like all sorts of crazy stuff to like questions when i didn't know where to go you know i had no bandmates at all so they're always there like to support and kind of guide me when i had questions about what to do in the scene you know so yeah, they're they're just like uh, like parents in the music scene to me. So yeah. well, I can I can see, and I saw this firsthand. You guys got a lot of fans out there. You got a lot of ladies there too. <laughs> a lot of the ladies, uh, especially you, Dennis. You got a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of eyes on you. What? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't I don't know what to say. Like I mean. Uh, uh, yeah. I, mean, well, I saw a couple signs for you guys. You guys are very popular. You know, we're trying to make this happen for a while. I'm glad to see. You. From the first time I saw you guys at that house show where you famously jumped into the pool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was actually with Carlos.
Carlos, that's crazy. We had a, another drummer, yeah. And then we had Carlos fill in that day. Yeah. Yeah, and it was cool. That was a good ass show. Um, and now it kind of all comes full circle. So with that said, what can we uh, tell the people? What can they what can they expect from the future going forward? What, what are they going to see from Sticker? Well, um, definitely more shows. We definitely try to go out of, uh, out of state. Um, we want to try to record uh, a single, hopefully. We want to do a single. And then after that, shortly after, we want to start recording the, uh, the LP, first LP, full length. Um, yeah, pretty much. Just keep just keep going. Keep grinding. <laughs> Let's keep it going. You guys have done some fantastic things. Lastly, tell the people where we can find you, where the people can find, uh, follow your journey. Where can we find you guys? Oh, yeah. We have stickers. <laughs> um, but you can find us at sticker underscore LV on Instagram. And then on all platforms, Spotify, YouTube. We're going to get more stuff on YouTube. Yeah, we can say that now on all platforms. And yeah, today's the first day streaming. So go streaming. Yeah, you know, we we just try to make the music for anybody. You know, it doesn't matter who you are or like what you do or look like, unless you're like a freaking jerk. You know what I mean? Like a bad person. But like everybody, you know, can can like you know like change or whatever. You know. So like I don't know. But um, yeah, we're we're just trying our best to like make music for the humans and stuff. So. Yeah, um, well, let's hear some more from Carlos. I know you got a lot to say. Yeah, um, just want to say thank you, everybody, and um, you know it's been it's been an amazing year so far, and uh, yeah, we the amount of love we've received so far in the scene has been unreal. So uh, the amount of people like listening to our EP and stuff has been overwhelming, and just like you know, it's it really means a lot. You know, like you guys are the reasons why we, like we we're all doing this, and you know. Um, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you, guys. There we have you guys. They live up to the hype here live at Tabernacle Stera. Sticker. Check them out.